Next, Policy Brief, a presentation of the policies of the United States government. The international community has been calling consistently for a return to representative civilian rule in Burma. The resignation by some of Burma's top generals from their military posts, though, follows enactment of a restrictive election law that bars many political activists from running for office. The decision by General Tang Sein and some 20 other members of his cabinet to shed their uniforms raises more questions than it answers about Burma's future. Under a controversial new constitution drafted by the military government, a popular vote sometime later this year will, Burmese authorities say, restore civilian rule for the first time since 1962. The generals see the election as a way to enhance their credibility at home and deflect criticism on their policies from the international community. To accomplish this, Burma's leaders would have to open up the political process, said U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Philip Crowley. What Burma needs to do is to open up real, genuine political space, uh, not just for ex-generals, but also for, uh, you know, for all people who want to participate constructively in, in, uh, in Burmese society. In fact, the new constitution guarantees 25% of the seats in parliament to the military, even before the voting. Now, by leaving their military posts and forming a new political party, Tain Sein and his colleagues could supplement the military's 25% quota on parliamentary seats, enabling the military to retain control of the country under the guise of an open election. That was Policy Brief, a presentation of the policies of the United States government.